from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. We have a lot of breaking news today, folks, on a live broadcast of Mornings from the shores of Santa Monica, California. We'll go over the latest data that came in on the mortgage numbers overnight. It's bad numbers, but good numbers for Build Back Better Act, which also gets supported by new jumpers for the jobs market were released minutes ago. Breaking news on the jobs and the mortgage numbers and the housing industry that signals big support for Build Back Better. Then we have a lot of breaking news coming in as well this morning about the 10-year fixed mortgage, 10-year fixed note, and that signals a potential recession and also the yield curve inversion. Boy, we have the latest details on that. But the exciting news is that those $80,000 of checks from Fort Simmons have landed. Have you got to them? I'm gonna show you how to get them. $80,000 of Fort Stimulus checks. Biden sent them out, viewers have got to them. Get ready, become a member. I'm gonna go over them in today's recording. We're gonna go over the third stimulus MSC checks you have landed. Yes, new third stimulus MSC checks have landed. You need it because we're potentially heading into recession. I have the breaking details on that six stimulus. This is where it gets confusing in this recording. As Germany looks like maybe it's pivoting away from six stimulus or is it not? I have the latest details on that front as well. Major developing details as Germany says we're heading to recession because of Vladimir Putin. Ah, uh, who told you that? <laughs> I've been telling you since day one of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, we're now at month two. There's a lot of breaking details in today's recording, and I have a lot of it for you. But as to checks, we also have a lot of checks as well. Third stimulus MSC checks land in your hands this week. How do you get them? I'll have them in today's video. Become a member. Then, fourth stimulus checks, $80,000 of them land in your hand. How do you get them? I'll have them in today's video. Become a member, and also I have a preview tonight. Evening's LA, America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. And in the final minutes of the video, we have a surprise as well. A lot of surprises because the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the cough is brewing. Is recession brewing as well? Well, we'll have the latest details on that and stagflation and the inversion curve and what it means for your money. It's a big broadcast. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, let's get to the deliciousness. The butter is buttering, the cough is brewing, the bacon's missing, but the stimulus is not. It's mornings, and it starts right now. Good morning, everybody. Hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. It is a beautiful day here along the coast for Santa Monica, California. Hope it's good where you are. For March 30th, 2022, a lot of breaking news on this live broadcast of Morning to LA from the shores of Santa Monica to the shores of the Black Sea. We have breaking news about Build Back Better Act. A lot of data. Remember, those are the big checks, $15,000, $80,000 in the House and Senate. There's a new jobs number out. I'll have the latest details how it impacts Build Back Better. And also, we have new data out about the mortgage refi market. Wow. Is the housing market drawing us in recession? I'll have the latest details on that front today. We have a little bit of an update about CR. CR stimulus 1.0 and 2.0. Wow. Big developing details on that front. But it's the SS300 that gets very interesting today, folks. U.S. Treasury yields surging higher this morning. And then the yield curve inversion. A lot of analysts saying, are we heading to recession because of that yield curve? Well, the latest details on that in today's recording. Then we look at the situation for that six stimulus as Germany signals that maybe it's not potentially interested in getting off of Russian products. What? Excuse me? All the latest details on that in today's broadcast. Plus, we have a preview of tonight's Evening Delight. It's America's most watched show in prime time and a special surprise at the end of this video. We got a big recording to go through, but first let's start with the Build Back Better Act. We'll go over the checks first. And then we'll turn to the breaking news about Build Back. There is a lot of breaking news on it today. That Build Back Better Act is the four symbols recall. It's currently in the Senate. It pays out fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of checks. In comparison to the add-on, which is law, 
eighty thousand dollars of checks coming up later in this video this is not a law yet let's go over all the incredible checks in the build back better 15 to eighty thousand dollars there's three classes and three add-ons of checks here's an overview of those checks featured tonight in prime time in that one hour special broadcast of evenings i like let's go over the details of those checks 15 to eighty thousand dollars and here we go in that first cluster has to pay one more year for my earned income tax credit for my essential workers then we have four thousand dollars of elder care thirty six hundred dollars for the young children the pell grant five hundred fifty dollars checks for the college students home repairs if you need them in the low-income family wow then they got the twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase of a new electric vehicle and then money for nutrition. The first add on of checks is a little bit less than $25,000. Great. For the purchase of your first home from Maxine Waters, got it in there. As we turn then to the second add on of checks, what is in that second add on of checks, that second cluster of checks? We have home repairs to weatherize your home and paid leave. Paid leave is a lot, folks. $46,000 per year. How do you get these checks? Tune into Evening LA for that one hour special broadcast in prime time tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. In that second add-on of checks, $250 billion for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. That third cluster checks even more. Free internet for all checks, farmers checks, independent contractors checks, and then seniors. A lot of checks for you, dental, vision, lowering the eligibility age, er, el eligibility age of Medicare, hearing checks, and then Medicaid gap fix. Providing a workaround plan that provide insurance to uninsured people in those 12 Republican holdout states, which is par for the course where we're talking about adding checks to the Build a Back a Better Act. The other checks the Senators vow they're going to represent, that they're going to add in there, of course, are those IRS MSC checks. Let's go over those fourth stimulus IRS MSC checks right now. These are four stimulus. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get it. Family of four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI. Social Security, railroad benefits, you get it as well. How much? $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. Those, my friends, are the MSC, fourth stimulus checks. Those four stimulus checks are in addition to everything that's already in the Build Back Better Act. Now let's get a preview of what's coming up late in this video and differentiate from what we just saw. Build Back Better Act is a bill currently in the Senate, not a law. But the President of the United States, five weeks ago this Friday, decided he was going to make a law. He did not need Congress from it, for it. He did it himself in the executive branch. And to force him us add on, and it's paid out. fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks. It's coming up late in this video. It's the homeowner's grant. First, is it law? It is law. Second, is it bill back? No, it's an add-on. It's a force stimulus add-on. Has the checks been out, sent out? Joe Biden has sent them out. Fifteen, eighty thousand. Has the viewers of the channel gotten? Yes. Can you get as well? You can. How do you get them? Become a member and tune in for the second half of this video. It's coming up in just a second. That is the force stimulus add-on, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of checks, homeowners grant. Now, third stimulus. Third stimulus sent you out a $14 stimulus check last year. But did you know that it's also sending out monthly stimulus checks? These are in addition to those IRS checks we just went over. These are third, not fourth, third MSE checks. And how do you get them? They're coming up in the second half of this video. If you're a member, you're going to feature, learn how to get them in the membership newsletter. But let's turn now to the other breaking news before we get to those checks. There are lots of breaking news across the board. First, Build Back Better. A lot of breaking news on the the economic data today that signals this is the push to get Build Back Better done. First, the job numbers, and then second, we're going to go over the developing details on the mortgage front. First, the jobs numbers released today signal that Build Back Better Act needs to get done. Let's go over the data that came in today just minutes ago. Payroll services firm ADP says that the jobs numbers for the month of March were, were a beat. It came in at 455,000 new jobs for the month of March. Economists were looking for 450. So it was a beat by 5,000 new jobs for the month of March. Then the GDP numbers came in, and those were for quarter for uh, quarter four, fourth quarter uh, 2021. They were a slight miss, came in 6.9%. Wall Street was looking to 7%. So because it was a miss, this is a reason why Build Back Better Act is needed. GDP is growth national product, how big the economy is growing. Wall Street is looking for the economy to grow 7%. 
it grew at 6.9%. So it was a miss. That's why you need more stimulus to help this economy grow. Now, we're looking for that labor number released later this week. Stay with this channel. I'll have it on Mornings Ally Live. That jobs number is the private payroll number, which is expected to come in at 450, which is expected to come in later this week. They're looking for 490. Labor Department releases that number. If it's a miss, that could give big push to get that big back, build back better done. The other number that came in today is actually more important when we look at Build Back Better. What was that number? This, my friends, is a scary number. The number of people who mortgage refined last month plummeted. People getting a mortgage refinance on their home or their business plummeted 60%. As the mortgage number surges to the highest level since 2018. I've been featuring this for a while. What's my analysis situation before I go over the data? Then my analysis situation is the housing market is already in recession. I believe the housing market is already in recession. It's certainly in stagflation. Why? Let's go over the data that came in, not today for March 30th, but on March 27th. That was the new housing starts, people buying homes, and the number was down 4.1%, if I remember it by heart. Let's see if I can remember, if I got the number by heart. 4.1%, it was the, the third consecutive month down, and this is bad news. That is as the mortgage number surged to its highest level since several months. So let's see if I, got, if I remember the number right. I did. The miss on the month of February was that the housing starts was down 4.1% compared to January. And that was the fourth consecutive month where housing sales were down. That signals we're heading into recession. This is at the 30-year fixed mortgage rate, which is how most people buy a home, 30-year fixed mortgage rate, is its worst level since 2018. Translation. If it costs too much to buy a home, you're not going to buy a home. And if you don't buy a home, then people don't sell homes. And if you don't sell homes, then the housing market gets worse. And if it gets worse, we go into a housing recession. I say we're already in the recession. A lot of analysts say we're already in stagflation for the housing market. Stagflation means it costs too much money to repair the home or build the home. Then when you go to sell it, you're not getting the money back. That is what's really kicking in right now. So the data today for March 30, 2022, is that Build Back Better, the Four Symbols Recon, has a lot of support now in the economic data. First, the mortgage industry is bad. Second, the housing industry is bad. Third, the jobs numbers, uh, they're sort of beating. They're good, but the a growth number, the gross national product, how large the economy is growing, is a miss. And we're waiting to see that data later this week. So that's the support for Build Back Better. If you're watching this channel over the weekend, Joe Manchin appeared at a conference and he said he wants to do build back better so joe let's do it let's get that build back better done it's currently in the senate the comment came from sam runyon the senator's communications director saying that joe manchin's willing to negotiate to the best to get this country moving forward amen now let's look at that cr the continuing resolution passed four weeks ago by the white house and Congress, and that had county stimulus in there, but the president's coming back for another round because he wants some COVID money. He doesn't have it. This week, March 28th, the president announced a new dispense spending bill. It had nothing in there for COVID, so we'll see what happens on that front. I'll be watching that data for you as well. If you want that county stimulus in that CR, reach out to your local counties. Okay, here we go. SS300. Fascinating news today, folks, on this front. What is SS300? That's raising your benefits up $300 a month, not just this month, not just this year, but lifetime. It was Joe Biden's campaign promise and then Joe Biden's platform. Swapping COLA for inflation. Every year, your benefits are assessed based upon COLA. And if COLA is flat, then your benefits don't go up. Joe Biden wants to swap out COLA for inflation. Where is inflation? Highest price point of the generation. I predicted it last year. I got it right. 8% the month of December. Then in January, I said it was right. Federal Reserve got it wrong. Said it was going to be smaller and said it was going to be temporary. Got it wrong, got it wrong. So what is an issue? First, let's go over what's going on on the front, and then we'll go over the breaking news today. It's big, and it's huge for your SS300. If Joe made the swap today from COLA to inflation, it would raise your benefits up $200 more per month, not just this month, but lifetime. And then if inflation, inflation tracks at 4% this December, that'll be another $100 because your benefits are reassessed every December based upon the benchmark. And if inflation is 4%, that's at about another $100 more per month. That's SS300. But there's a guy that's at issue, and that guy is Jay Powell. His job is to reduce inflation by raising interest rates. And how does he raise those interest rates? He has an FOMC meeting. It's called the FOMC meeting, one per month every month for several months. And he signaled that he's going to do an interest rate spike for six months, quarter basis point. He sent that in 
the FOMC meeting this month. He said he was going to do a quarter last month as well. So let's go over the data today. The data today is that the interest rates could be coming in even stronger. j Powell is signaling that he may do not quarter, but half basis points for April's FOMC meeting and continue at half thereafter. Why is that bad news for SS300? Because if inflation drops dramatically, you wouldn't get $200 more per month. You'd get $150 or $175. So number one, Joe needs to pick the phone call right now. Hashtag Joe make the call. Go on social media, tag the president. Hashtag Joe make the call. Share this video with fellow people, Purple Power, and make Joe to make the phone call right now. But let's look at Jay Powell's pivot. First, I think we're fine if Joe makes the phone call now or in April. But we don't know what's happening by May, and by then inflation could be coming down. Or is it? And then what about that 4% later this year? Jay Powell's now signaling he wants to get to 1.9% by the end of the year. Oh, no, that's not another $100. That's $20 more. So you want that phone call to be made by Joe right now. Let's go over the breaking details on this front right now. This is breaking news from March 30th, 2022. You're hearing it first live on air from Santa Monica, California. The U.S. Treasury yield for the 10-year bond is trading up higher. This is signaling that the U.S. bond traders believe that inflation may be actually higher than 8%. What is the 10-year Treasury note right now? It went up one basis point to 2.415%. Ouch. <laughs> How many times have I been reporting on that 10-year Treasury note over the last month? It's been at 1.8, 1.9. Now it's 2.415. Ouch. That means that if the 10-year Treasury bond is trading up higher, the bond traders believe that inflation is actually hotter. That's good for your SS300. Remember, if it's 8.5%, then it's not $200 more per month. It's $220 more per month. Here's another data that came in today, the yield curve inversion. The yield curve inversion gets some more talking points today. What is the yield curve inversion? If you went to the bank and put money in a secure, in a CD, and you said, I want a 10-year CD, and the banker says, okay, it's this percentage rate, and then you said, what's the five, five-year CD? Maybe I don't want to lock it up for 10 years. You're going to get less money. The shorter duration, the smaller rate. The longer duration, the higher rate. You will understand that. That's pretty simple. But not in a recessionary environment. What happened earlier this week? It's called the yield curve inversion. A shorter note had a higher rate. And a longer note had a lower rate. Why? It happens when we're going to recession, says some analysts. I'll have that data in a second. So the five-year note inverted. It got a higher rate than the 30-year note. Ridiculous. 30 years on the bank, you should get a long higher rate than if it's only five years on the bank. When it inverts, does that mean recession? <laughs> Here's the data you're going to see today. The 2000, the last time we had the yield curve inversion was 2006, and we went to recession. Yesterday, I featured an analyst reports that says they don't think this signals it's going to recession. Today, I have Antoine Beauvais, who says, I don't think that indicates recession. Much my, analyst, my analysis situation, it does. Beauvais says in the second part of his comment, it does show a new risk. Here's what I want to tell you, is that if you have the yield curve inverting, if you have the mortgage rate so high at 5% that people are not buying homes and the housing market is shrinking and getting worse by the day and the mortgages are getting worse by the day. If you have the bond traders trading up, if you have the GDP, the growth rate shrinking, it all signals recession. And that all signals two years of recession. So that is why Joe needs to make the phone call right now because the numbers are really good. And if j Powell sees the data like I'm seeing, like you're seeing, he's going to come in much more aggressively to reduce it across the board. That is why I want you to get big sums of money. And those big sums of money are coming up in the second half of this video. Let's go over a preview of what that big money is. First, four stimulus checks of $80,000. Yes, you heard me right. Four stimulus checks of $80,000 have landed. Have you gotten it? Become a member. It's coming up in the second half of this video. Then, third stimulus MSC checks have landed. Wow, that is huge. And it's absolutely astronomical. It's coming up in the second half of this video. Get ready. Become a member during the commercial break. Then, I got a preview of Big Surprise coming up in the second half. I have a preview of tonight's Evening's LA in prime time. It's at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. You don't want to miss it. It's a big recording. It's a one-hour special broadcast. And then we have the six stimulus. Wow. Shocking, confusing comments coming out of Germany just minutes ago. Six stimulus is the biggest stimulus package you've seen in a generation. It's in April. 
Is it off the tracks or is it on the tracks? All the latest breaking details on mornings. Then we look to that seven stimulus. That is that student loan debt forgiveness. Mar May 2nd with that dig date coming up. What's the latest on today's recording? All that as well. But first, here is a little bit about the community page, and I'll be back in 60 seconds because the toast is toasting. The butter is buttering. I'm still looking for the bacon. Maybe I'll find it during the commercial break. During the commercial break, you'll become a member, and I'll see you back in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page on a live broadcast of mornings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on a big second half of Mornings LA Live from San Monica, California from March 30th, 2022. We have a lot of breaking details coming up tonight on Amy's LA. We're going to go more over that jobs number, that me, that beat, and that miss on the mortgage refi number down 60%. Why is it good news for the Build Back Better Act? We'll have the latest details on that. Then we'll be looking at CRs. The president is likely to come back with another CR in just a few days. This could potentially have a stimulus check in there. We have the details on that. We'll be looking in the second in that primetime broadcast tonight also at the head with that yield curve inversion and the 10-year bond out of control that could signal that the fed may come in more aggressively joe make the phone call right now before we go into stagflation all the latest details on that in prime time but now let's turn to the big exciting details of those checks we're going to go over all these incredible checks. Get your pen and paper right now. If you're a member, congratulations. You got that membership newsletter coming out tonight at 5, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Get your pen and paper right now. Let's go over all the incredible details. For stimulus, let's go over that first. Build Back Better Act is a bill, and Congress needs congressional vote. But the president can also pass laws himself in the executive branch. And he did, coming up this Friday, five weeks ago. It's a four stimulus add-on, and it's called, for purposes of the recording, the Homeowner's Grant. It is a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check. How do you get it? Let's go over all the incredible details right now. First, how much does it pay? Fifteen dollars to $80,000. And the income qualification is incredible. Same as a stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get it. It's fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household, so you don't double, triple, or quadruple it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, you can get it as well. The last qualification is that you're a homeowner. If you're a renter, stay with me because I got big checks for you coming up right after this, just about two minutes away. So this money, how do you get it? First, you want to become a member. The link's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Become a member and get that membership newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, sent via the YouTube alerts. When you open that membership newsletter, the first lines will be the gas, the wheat, and the grain numbers today. The next line will be this grant. First, you'll see the complete name of the grant. It's not the homeowner's grant, it's actually a longer name. Then I'll go over the income qualifications we just did. Next, I'll go over what the money's for. Great stuff, like home repairs, yes, incredible. Then I'll go over everything you need to know, and then how to apply. And all the link to go right in to apply. It's an online application. 
and it sends you into the national application, national website, which then routes you to your state. Now, here's what's at issue. The President of the United States delivered this as a law five weeks ago. It is a law, one. The checks have been sent out, two. The viewers have gotten the checks, three. If you haven't gotten it, you can still get it, four. And how do you do it? First, you want to become a member. Open that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday and apply. It is a grant, meaning you don't have to repay it. It is not a loan. You have to do a credit check. And yes, you have to pounce Purple Hawks and get these sums of money. The rounding times are about a week after you get that application in and it says approved. It's incredible. fifteen dollars to $80,000. The membership newsletter is delivered via the YouTube alert system. Not by email, not by wavel check, not by lobster dance. <laughs> so become a member. Get that incredible application in and get those fifteen dollars to $80,000. Average viewers tracking at the high end about sixty to eighty thousand dollars, and for every day that delays, thousands of people in your state get ahead of you and get that application in. Let's remember this was announced five weeks ago this Friday, and when it was announced by the White House, no print, broadcast, or cable financial news channel except Allied News and Prime Time featured this. Immediately put in the membership newsletter, but ultimately. The states will run out of the money at some point, so don't wait around. Become a member right today and get that application on file. All right, now let's say you're a renter, or let's say you're also a homeowner. I got other checks for you to get today as well. Their third stimulus, MSC. Let's take a step back. Third stimulus became a law last year. You got a third stimulus check, $1,400. This is in addition to this. This is an addition to it. It's called third stimulus monthly stimulus checks. It's in addition to the third stimulus check of $1,400. It's different than the fourth stimulus IRS MSC check. And you can get this if you're a renter and a homeowner. Let's go over all the details of it. First, how do you get it? You reach out to six places. Your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county house authority. And the key words you say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You must reach out to all six places. Now, if you're a member, good. You've got more than six places to reach out to. you got about a dozen and a half because as a member, you also have the nonprofits. The rejection rate should be about should be about 50%. So for every call you make, you'll get a no and a yes. You'll get one no for every two calls you make, and the other one will be a yes. Push Purple Power and get these big sums of money. Now, what's important to know is that you want to get these big sums of money right now. These MSG checks are available for you right now. They're available nationwide, just like the homeowner's grant. In the case of homeowners, you can get the homeowner's grant. In the case of the third simple MSG checks, you can get it if you're both a renter and a homeowner. You need to make the effort and push Purple Power, and you can do it across the board. Wow. Congratulations to the average viewer of this channel who has gotten from this third stimulus MSC checks a lot more than four stimulus proposes. They're averaging $2,000 a month for 12 months. It's incredible. Catalan's viewers are getting 12 months of checks. Most viewers are getting over $45,000. Many viewers are getting over $100,000. And these are viewers of all walks of life. Two nights ago, I think it was the 28th broadcast of Indians LA in prime time, we had three viewers who in three minutes got a collectively reported collectively getting $100,000. One of them was a viewer on SSI. The viewer on SSI, who's a renter, got $60,000 of monthly stimulus checks. So make the effort and get those big checks. They're available nationwide, every place across the board. Get those big checks across the board today. And with that, let's turn to the other breaking news that is huge that's happening right now. The other breaking news that is really surprising at the very time of this recording is that six stimulus. Oh boy, this came out of nowhere. What is six stimulus? Six stimulus is a stimulus package that heats up in April. The biggest stimulus package you've seen of a generation it is bigger than even first stimulus from, Janu from January 2020. This is Putin caused stimulus. Why? Because to get off of those Putin Russian products, we need to raise national debts. And to do that, we need to stay away from a recession. But let me go over the breaking news today. And let me preface it by saying it may look contradictory. It may look confusing. Guess what? It looks correctly because it is contradictory. It is confusing. I'll explain for you, to you what's happening. First, let me go over the quotes for you. So you see these quotes and you're going to say, uh, excuse me? <laughs> Who are the quotes from? Germany. Remember that 
the six stimulus, the proponents of six stimulus is the trifecta of progressiveness. The, the progressive president, Joe Biden, the progressive leader of France, Macron, and the progressive leader of Germany, Chancellor uh, Olsz Scholz. So let's go over the data right today. Olsz Scholz today says that maybe we can't get off of Russian products. Uh, excuse me? Wait, let's read that quote again. Ulf Schultz today says that getting off of Russian products would plunge our economy and the rest of Europe into recession. Well, we know that. That's why we're getting off of Russian products and getting six stimulus out the door. Let's read the next quote. Germany's economic minister, Robert Habach, said that he's issued the first of three gas stockpilings to be released. Then we have the European Central Bank, Christian Lagarde, says the war in Ukraine is sending us potentially into risk for growth. Then we have Chancellor Ulf Schultz again saying today, that if we got off Russian energy, our economy and the rest of Europe is going to recession. Well, we already know that. That's the purpose of six stimulus. Let's see if there's any other quotes that come in from these people today that makes it even more confusing. We have the new quote. We have a... Okay, this is where it gets very strange. We have Russia now saying to the European community that their payments due by tomorrow on natural gas must be made in the Russian currency of ruble, even though the contract says it needs to be paid in US or, or US dollars. What is going on with that? Let me back up because that looks like a hot mess. Is it a hot mess? It is a hot mess. Day one of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, your Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, reached out to Germany, France, and said, you know what? We need to give, get off of Russian products. They said, no. We can't because our economies are going into recession. He said, you have to morally. And then they said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Germany, France, United States, we're going to debt spend, raise national debts, and then give out stimulus to our citizens because they can't afford gasoline at this price level. They can't afford bread at these price level. And that's where we were until about a week ago. Then we had two deals. We had two deals. We have deals because they announced the deals and because they signed and Pose for pictures when they did the deals. The first deal was the LNG. The President of the United States went overseas and met with the European Committee, European Union, EU, and said, we have a deal. The EU announced the deal that the United States has now gotten the European community, community off of Russian LNG, natural gas, and instead buy U.S. natural gas for nine plus years to 2030. Huge deal meaning that they're no longer dependent upon Russian, Russian natural gas. They're off of it, and they're buying it from us, so we're going to make money on it. Good. It was a deal confirmed. So why is Schultz complaining about natural gas today from Russia? I don't understand. It makes no sense. Then we had the deal for your gasoline that goes in your car, which is a little bit different than gasoline. That's refined gasoline. That deal was announced by who else? Germany announced the deal. They announced the deal a week ago. The deal was negotiated by who? Germany, on behalf of the United States, where they negotiated a deal with Iran to get 1.5 million barrels of gasoline into world economies by December and a half million by April, just a few days away. And that would bring down the price of gasoline to a 15-year high, 15-year low. Huge. And again, Germany did it. So why is Germany back today complaining? I don't understand it. Let's go also to part of the equation, which is that Vladimir Putin is demanding that any energy contracts be paid to him, well, to, to Russia, in rubles. What is Germany saying? The contract says we pay you in euro or US dollars. You're trying to get rubles, which is a breach of contract, to get your, uh, to, to make your default payments later this month. What is my takeaway of the situation? <laughs> my takeaway of the situation is I think it's political uh, gainsmanship for parties, political parties in respective Germany. I don't think it signals that six months is coming off of the rails. I don't think it signals that six months is falling apart. There's something not coherent here because Germany, France, the EU all had press briefings, all stand there, stood there with Joe Biden, all issued statements saying this is done, LNG, we have a deal on LNG, we have a deal on Iranian oil, we have a deal on uh, getting off of Russian products, and now they're getting skittish, you know, oh, two weeks later, and saying we can't get off of the Russian products. 
Uh, <laughs> it's sort of like Joe just lands back home and then the people that he made a deal with singles that don't have a deal. I, I think that six singles is still happening, but I had to go over the detail with you as well. I'm going to be watching the reaction from the White House, and I'll have the latest updates on that in prime time. It's six stimulus, and it's tonight in prime time. Seven stimulus. Wow. Joe Biden really setting up a date for that seven stimulus. What is it? It's student loan debt forgiveness. May 2nd, we'll have a determination if student loan debt forgiveness is forgiven by the President of the United States. Whoa. Let's go over the details on this. The President of the United States has announced May 2nd is his deadline. Why? When the pandemic hit, your student loan debt repayments were frozen, meaning you, have, you did not have to make them. Until May 2nd, 2022, well, that day is coming up, will you have to start making payments for the first time since the pandemic? His chief of staff, Ron Klan, to the President, says the President will make a determination if, one, you have to make payments starting May 2nd, two, if the payments are now frozen further out, or three, the president's forgiving student loan debts. Here's the latest details today from March 30th, 2022. The president, when he was vice president, saw Education Secretary Obama pass a lot of laws that allowed the president to forgive student loan debt through the executive branch without the act of Congress. And that Education Secretary <laughs> this week said, Joe, when he was vice president, knew he could forgive it. And now his president still knows he can forgive it. The other data that's circling today is there's a lot of new analysts who says the president can forgive the student loan debt. And if you think he doesn't have the ability, then guess what? You tee it up for a vote in the, in the Senate and the House, and it's not going to override his determination because the Republicans don't have enough votes to override a determination of student loan debt forgiveness by Joe Biden of 50000 It's huge. And we'll be watching that going into the next few days. Meantime, let's get a preview of tonight's evening's LA. Let's look at look, let's look at a little bit of surprise of what's happening uh, on this channel, and also let's look at some more checks across the board. Preview of tonight on evening's LA. We have a lot coming up. We have the latest details on the Build Back Better Act. As Joe Manchin in that new interview over the weekend or a conference over the weekend says, he wants Build Back Better Act to be done. The jobs numbers a beat, meaning they were better than expected, but the labor numbers coming later this week may be a miss. The mortgage industry imploding. Mortgage refi is down 60% year to date. The housing starts down three, four consecutive months. More People are not buying homes because they cannot buy a 4 to 5% mortgage. They can afford a 1% mortgage. They can't afford a 5% mortgage. And the housing market is likely, in my opinion, already in recession. This is why Build Back Better Act is getting a big push now. Mortgage industry, housing industry, housing refi, all that getting bad by the day. Big reason to get Build Back Better Act passed, number one. Also, the new jobs numbers, the numbers so far today and the numbers later this week from the Labor Department, all likely around the same price point. They're not improving. And the GDP, the growth of the economy, shrinking 6.9% missed today versus 7%. That signals that we may need lots of big Build Back Better stimulus. For stimulus add-on became a law when the president signed it into law five weeks ago this Friday. $80,000 of checks. The members of the shell have gotten it. And then that third stimulus, MSG checks going out. How do you get them to become a member or you listen to this video and apply it to six places if you're a non-member, if you're a member of the 11 plus places. The SS300 getting very problem, getting very interesting today is the 10-year treasury note up. And the yield inversion curve really signaling we may be going to recession. Joe made the phone call right now. Joe made the call right now before the situation gets more detangled or before j Powell comes in more aggressively. CR, j Powell, Joe Biden likely to come back with another CR, as he said, for COVID. And then six stimulus getting very confusing. As Germany now signaling maybe it does not want to get off of Russian products. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> it's all tonight on Eden's LA. A preview of a new surprise to this channel. Last night, this channel tested out something we tested out one time last year. It was an overnight live feed of breaking financial news. And that overnight live feed featured everything about the financial news you needed to know for March 29th, 2022. What happened? It was a blockbuster. It was a blockbuster. It was one of the most watched shows yesterday on this channel. Brought in a lot of new members, brought in massive viewership, and it was great because if you missed... Any of the day's recordings or the day's recordings were 
for your purposes uh, over and you want to get a big recap, a one-hour recap, you could jump in the live chat coming back from the casino and see everything. And that was what happened. It was a massive show, and it was an overnight live stream of Elite Financial News 24-7. And with that, it's likely to take a new home on this channel, an overnight live feed for financial news. We'll figure out where to put the live feed on crypto for now, but that overnight feed on financial news was a blockbuster last night. If you missed it, watch for it. It could be coming back very soon as well. Meantime, this channel approaches its one, its second year anniversary, April 25th, 2022. And we've learned so much. And where are we heading from here? Where we're heading from here is what you're seeing right now on this broadcast right now. I've been able to show you how to learn, how to become educated, and how to finish first. And where we are today is you're hearing a recording that shows you how to prepare your wallet for two years of recession and how to predict a recession by looking at yield curve inversion, how to predict a recession by looking at mortgage rates and 10-year tenure, tenure treasury bonds, how to learn about that, how to prepare for it, and how to get all the big sums of money, the big checks in your wallet right now that are available before that recession comes. This is what this channel has become and what I always aspire to become with you, by giving you information and by leaving you first. You get first in life by the most information you get and being able to apply that information. This channel is delivering you more information, more financial news, more financial breaking news than ever before. And who would have thought that viewers of this channel who maybe a year ago didn't even know what an interest rate was, or perhaps didn't even know what a 10-year treasury bond was, now today is learning what a yield curve inversion is. Now you're learning what a yield curve inversion is. And with that learning and that knowledge, then you can prepare for a potential two years of recession. And if you know a recession's coming, then you can prepare your family for all the financial future that is unfolding 48 months out from today's date. And with that, with that geopolitical news that you're learning, then you're able to apply it and get big checks right today. Getting big checks of third stimulus MSE checks right today. Getting big checks of fourth stimulus $80,000 checks right today because you know that a yield curve inversion is happening right now. And you know that means a recession is coming and it means that you know that the housing market could be going to recession. It means you know where the financial landscape is happening before potentially anyone else in your block. That is where this channel is going with you. Deliver you incredible information because guess what? When you have the information, you finish first. When you learn the information and can apply the information, you finish first. When you're financially independent because you knew what was happening before anyone else, you finish first. When you know the financial landscape of your family and your community and your nation before anyone else, you finish first. And when you get the big checks that are available right today before anyone else, you finish first. And that's why this channel is bringing in so many members. This is why this channel is bringing in so many viewers. This is why this channel is bringing in so many subscribers. And this is why that show overnight was such a big success. And that is why Evenings LA in Primetime is America's most watched financial show in primetime, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time every night, is because you're finishing first. And with that, join me next for a big broadcast, approximately one hour, at noontime, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's about an hour and a half from now. It's a new show called Home LA, but it's been morphed. It's a countdown to Easter. The first half of this video is a little bit different than Home LA goes over routing times, because you want to know when is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh landing. It's noontime. It's coming up at 11 a.m. And the second half of that video will be about <laughs> food and the countdown to Easter. With that, if you haven't become a member, become a member today. That link is at the top of the channel, the pinned comment. The membership newsletter comes out tonight, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Not by waveable check, not by waveable lobster, not by waveable uh, anything. <clears throat> and with that, have a beautiful day. I look forward to seeing you at noontime and then, of course, in prime time tonight at 5 o'clock. It's a brand new prime time show tonight, a brand new afternoon show at 3 o'clock. Stay informed, stay focused. Always stay motivated, always stay informed, because guess when? When you are, you're first. The membership of this channel, you're first, and you're way in front of everyone else. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.